just a tip to make a, a, a slightly better approach because the unlock itself is very simple, you know, the mechanics, you know, uh, as a wire belt to learn the mechanics of the unlock. But I think it's, it's, it's quite difficult attack to, to achieve in the close guard because unless the person is making a mistake or leaning forward with his with arm straight, then it's easier for you to go, right? Because the natural reaction of the person when he feels you attacking the arm, he, he push himself back. When he postured up, he kills the attack. Like it's very difficult to get the arm lock when the person is posturing, when he's trying to move himself away from you. And by the time you initiate the attack, his first reaction will be, the closer he are, the more dangerous he'll be, so he pushes himself back. And then it becomes a, the biggest challenge to attack someone. And everything is, like, from my, my young age, I like to attack the arm lock in the guard. And there's the one way that I was successful the most, that for me, almost like for me to actually be able to finish someone in the, in the close, in the arm lock, unless he makes a big mistake and, and I capitalize on that, I always gain the shoulder first. So if you think of the arm lock, instead of thinking, you know, one move straight, step over and trying to, to, to finish the arm lock straight away, I always, almost break in, in, in two steps. Gaining his the shoulder control first, maintaining this position, and then from here when the opportunity arrives, and then I go for the finish. Just by gaining the shoulder and holding this position for a while until I'm ready to throw the leg over his head, that's when I was really starting to catch people in the arm lock. Before, if I try to go straight over, it's extremely difficult because they react, right? It's an action reaction. So to keep the person close to you is very hard. Like I'm, I'm in the bottom. It's to, to hold the person and, and maintain him close to me is extremely difficult when he's trying to fight himself back, right? But if I gain his shoulder, if I get my leg over his shoulder, that on his own holds him close to me. Because now if he try to push himself away, like we attach, right? Wherever he goes, I go. Like the, the distance between us now, he cannot like he has to, to remove my leg off his shoulder to gain any distance between us, otherwise he cannot. That's as far as he goes. Like as long as my leg is on his shoulder, the distance between us will stay that way. He cannot push himself back as long as that leg is over his shoulder. And then he, this is all about tiling the, the space and then you, you finish. Because then it becomes a simple move of just throwing the leg over his face and, and he finished the arm lock. Not the whole movement starting from beginning to end to finish. So let's practice just, first you wanna gain the shoulder, then you wanna maintain that position, adjust until you're comfortable, comfortable enough to go for the finish, right? Holding that position for as long as you can, that's the, 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 the second part of the, the arm lock. So gaining that first, adjusting, Holding that, because he will try to push his leg out uh, off his shoulder, and then <coughs> fighting the win for the finish. There's a few ways that we can do that. Usually the person, I mean, he will always have his arm on your chest, right? Because I'm pulling him. The closer he is for me, the better it is for, for me. Then I can attack. The person will hold his arm over, right? So usually if you're really pulling the person, he's very strong, he'll maintain both arms. So let's say I want to attack his, uh, his right arm. Whichever way I attack, my, uh, like just the other arm, see, I should never go over the arm. Because by going over, he can push my arm and he can bother me. So it's hard for me to maintain that. So every time you want to attack the person, you go under. So now he cannot bother me with the arm. Like he has to go under his. So the moment that I go over, so what do you want? As long as his arm is straight, it's difficult, right? <laughs> so as long as his arm is straight, you want to stop pulling him. So I like to go over the elbow, if, even if you keep his arm straight. Then I grab his pull over. Sometimes I even grab his arm. See, so at least I keep the arm under control. It's more. See, I'm not trying to drag his arm. This is more if you try to pull his arm back. 
the arm is stuck. See, the idea is not to drive the arm in. I hold, I keep pressure because they will be pulling his arm back. <coughs> and when I grab the cross collar, if you try to posture, what? <laughs> and then you get the shoulder. See, with that cross grip, is much better than this, like the traditional way that everyone learned. This is much harder to try to gain his shoulder. Why? Because the other side of his body is free, so if you posture up, he can go way further. Because that shoulder goes further back than this. This I keep close to me, but the other one, see, goes right back. If I grab the cross collar, I'm, I'm fighting against that shoulder, not against that one. So if you try to push the other shoulder back, he's stuck. So he cannot go as far back as he can. Now I keep the pressure over his elbow. Now I start raising my hips, pushing the hips to the side, climb the other leg, and then gain the shoulder. Now he's stuck. The next step will be to bring my elbow to my leg. Now he's in real trouble. Doesn't matter, even if he was trying to push with the other arm. I mean here, my hips already see, is, is turned. Now it's all about adjustment. <coughs> Pushing the arm, holding the arm on your chest, straighten your arm, and then stepping over. Remember, don't cross your leg. As soon as I step over his head, almost if I wanna, I wanna push the head away from me. See, that, that foot goes <coughs> up, and that, and that automatically pushes my hip up. And then you finish. Maybe. 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 That, I can say for me, made a massive difference in my game of the arm lock. Like, I could only, especially against like the good guys, I would only successful attacking the arm if I gained the shoulder first. If I didn't do that, I don't even remember catching anyone like in, in a high level. You can see even like, not just in the academy tournaments, you know, I have, a, a lot of fights as a black belt in the, in the, the big tournaments. Every single arm lock you see me finishing, I always gain the shoulder first, always. Like from beginning to end without gaining the shoulder is extremely difficult. The guy has to be making a mistake, has to be leaning forward, and then you capitalize into a quick move <coughs> if you catch him, that's when you can get the person. But he has to be making a mistake. If he's not, it's very, very uh, difficult. So, get your palms cross grip, grab inside of the elbow, cross collar, gain the shoulder, do not fight, tell him to shake it up, see if he can, you know, slightly, see how much you can, you know, how easy it is, is if you can remove your, his leg off your shoulder, because it shouldn't be. The cross grip, bring the elbow to your leg, when you do that, it should be extremely difficult. Just shake it up a little bit for you to feel like it's really stuck, and then go for the finish. Okay guys, let's go.